Welcome to the Edinburgh Interactive Festival. I love Edinburgh. I mean, it's a showcase of, of everything that I like about games. I think this is probably the sixth or seventh year that I've been here. There's no, no egos here. There's no competitive, you know, we're just here to talk about art and culture. It's not so much business driven, it's all about games as an art form. I think it's great, it's in, it's in Scotland. I mean, Edinburgh is one of the, the greatest cities in the world. Obviously with the, uh, the fringe on just now, it's, it's, it's ram-packed, there's lots of energy here. The Edinburgh Interactive Festival gives games a chance to put its place properly among other entertainment, TV, comedy, movie, drama. It's a perfect, you know, backdrop for games companies to go and express themselves, and in particularly so in terms of demonstrating innovation. The screenings are a little more in-depth explanation of games by their creators. The game itself is a sheep herding game. It's an alien sheep herding game. And those are open to the public and generally quite popular. These are some screenshots just showing the evolution during that prototype period, which was only six days long. This one's going to blow you away. He's down. And this was the first ever public screen we showed Spain, La Mancha. There are places where people can play games for free in the lobby. Nintendo's been long-time supporters of the Edinburgh Festival and we've been, been here because we really like the fact that uh, all diverse people can enjoy the different games that we have here. I mean, for example, I mean, we, we've been demonstrating the cooking guide. It will tell you exactly how to chop the onion as well. Which is really probably not what people consider as a traditional game. It's fun. It is. It's really good. Any time this is on, I'd come. It's a good environment. You know, everyone's really keen to, you know, get get to try out some new products that hopefully they'll they'll be getting for Christmas, I guess. This year it's massive. This year there's so many things to do, so many games to play, so many different screenings. It's done exactly what I hoped it would do, which is sort of grow year on year. So I can't wait to see what happens next year. We have the trade event here as well, so we have all of the kind of luminaries for the game sector talking about the big challenges and the future. I do honestly and strongly believe that we are the emergence of something really big. A good, diverse spread of subjects covered. I think the conference is, is really interesting, a really great thing to do. It's very well represented. There's lots of senior people from a lot of you know games companies here. Mr. Chris Deering. So without further ado, let me introduce Graham Brown Martin. You know, Western companies in these areas are seen coming. Here in Edinburgh I was uh, addressing the UK development scene and why uh, it's still highly creative. There's a really great thing here called Dare to be Digital as well, which is uh, young university students trying to uh, get their foot on the rung, I suppose, into the games industry. Welcome to Dare to be Digital! Basically what we're doing is we're getting um, students to take 10 weeks out to devise a game. 17 teams from around the UK and China, China. Yeah. And, and India. India. Anyone who goes down there gets a wristband and you can um, use your wristband to vote at the end after you've played all the games and you've made your decision. There's some really good examples of um, the future of what games could be going into. Welcome to the EIF VIP dinner. Yeah, we do go out and have drinks. That's good fun. Actually, that fuels the, the business at the end of the day as well. Festivals like the Edinburgh Festival, for me, are very important because it's a, a direct contact with consumers, with gamers. People who are huge gaming fans, to so get a chance to see um, you know, how games are put together, where they are, and maybe just get a, a look in and maybe, hopefully, get excited and want to join the industry. After my talk, here just this morning I've had you know, a million requests for people who just want to try the software out and that's exactly what I need. It's not a trade show and it's not a business meeting, it's really a collaboration among people who are really uh, enjoy what they do and although they compete with each other most of the year this is just a little bit relaxation and blue sky thinking. And when you have a look at you know, the wide array of, uh, of uh, topics discussed, you can understand why Edinburgh is Edinburgh and you couldn't be anywhere else because 
It's about the town, it's about the festival atmosphere, and it's about the fact that people have got time to be able to discuss some of these issues without the commercial pressures on them.